Another familial blow has befallen Priscilla Presley, following the passing of her daughter, Lisa Marie Presley, in January. Although Priscilla was able to reach a settlement with her granddaughter, Riley Keough, on Tuesday, May 16, 2023, over her daughter, Lisa Marie's will, the agreement prevented her from being buried next to her former husband, Elvis Presley. Want to know more? Then join us in this video as we learn more about the recent settlement of the court hearing over Lisa Marie's trust. After what seemed like months of drama, in the wake of Lisa Marie Presley's passing in January of this year, it appears like things have reached a calm for her family. After contesting her daughter's will, Priscilla Presley became embroiled in a court dispute with her granddaughter, Riley Keough. Reportedly, Riley's connection with her grandma deteriorated after Priscilla filed a petition. Days after Lisa Marie's public memorial, contesting the authenticity and validity of a 2016 addition to Lisa Marie's Living Trust. The petition was submitted by Priscilla to challenge an amendment made in 2016. Since then, the matriarch is believed to have received millions of dollars as part of the settlement for dropping claims over who would control Lisa's trust. This trust includes the Graceland Mansion, as well as a 15% stake in Elvis Presley Enterprises, which collectively brought in an estimated $110 million in 2022. Tanzu was the first news outlet to report on the settlement, which involved Lisa Marie's wealthy promenade trust. Even though the will specifies Keo as the beneficiary, Priscilla's attorney, Ronson J. Shimun, said outside of court that the families are happy with the decision. There was never any lawsuit filed against my beloved granddaughter, Priscilla said in an interview with People magazine. My family has resolved all confusion as it relates to our plea to the court and request for document interpretation after my daughter, Lisa Marie's untimely passing. Her attorney, Ronson Shamoon, stated to the press that families are happy and that the Presley family is unified and together and excited for the future. In addition, the attorney for Keough, Justin Gold, stated that Riley would not have agreed to the settlement if she was not happy with it. Jerry Schilling, who was Elvis's buddy and mentor, is said to have been the ultimate peacemaker, according to some accounts. In addition to that, he was instrumental in assisting the family in reaching a consensus over the estate. According to a source who spoke to the media, Jerry holds a really unique status in that household. He was the one who kept the conversations going between the two women, while the lawyers were doing their thing. Priscilla Presley was hoping to be buried among her loved ones, for her last resting place. Her representative has confirmed to People magazine in a statement that she wanted to be buried alongside her late ex-husband, Elvis Presley, and their daughter, Lisa Marie Presley, once she passes away. Despite the fact that their disagreement has been resolved, it has come to light that Priscilla's one request was denied. According to a statement that was sent to the media by her representative, Priscilla said that although she doesn't plan on going anywhere anytime soon, it is her family's and her wish to be buried and laid to rest with her daughter and love of her life, whenever that time comes. The representative then added that they appreciate the love from all fans. When Elvis Presley passed away in 1977, he was laid to rest in the famed Graceland estate he owned. His own grave is located next to the graves of his mother Gladys and his father Vernon. Additionally, his only child, Lisa Marie Presley, was laid to rest in Graceland beside her son Benjamin Keough, who passed away in the year 2020. Priscilla and Elvis were married in 1967, after having met eight years previously. And while they divorced in 1972 and Priscilla then married and divorced Marco Garibaldi, she has stated on several occasions that Elvis was the love of her life. According to TMZ, Priscilla's request was almost instantly denied and she backed down without much discussion. Elvis Presley was famously laid to rest in 1977 on the huge Graceland site which has since been transformed into a 200,000 square foot complex with museums and restaurants. 
Despite the fact that Elvis and Priscilla divorced in 1973 and had been legally separated since 1972, they continued to share custody of Lisa Marie up to the time that Elvis passed away. Since then, Priscilla has referred to him on several occasions as the love of her life, as mentioned before. Her daughter's sudden death from a cardiac attack at the age of 54 caused Priscilla to submit a petition challenging the authenticity and validity of a document that was added to the trust in 2016 and removed her as a co-trustee while placing Keo in charge. This matter has now been resolved. The Keo camp is getting ready to issue a settlement demand for both a promenade trust and an insurance trust, which will be kept confidential. After the settlement, People Magazine reached out to Keo's representatives for comment. However, a source informed them that the Daisy Jones and the Six Star is ready to move on with her life. Keo's representatives have not replied to People's attempts for comment. Riley has been promoting her new film, Daisy Jones and the Six, which is available on Prime Video. Meanwhile, Priscilla was photographed celebrating the graduation of her twin granddaughters, Harper and Finley. Harper and Finley are Lisa Marie's daughters with her ex-husband Michael Lockwood. A source informed people that Riley Keough is relieved to have settled the dispute over her mom's estate. She wanted to avoid further conflict with her grandmother. She held out hope that they might come to an agreement rather fast. According to the source, Riley is still dealing with the loss of her mother. It's been a really challenging time for her. Now that she has her own kid, she wants to put her attention on building memories with her. They added that this is currently Riley's priority. According to CNN, legal representatives for both sides are preparing to submit a move to keep the terms of the settlement deal confidential. A follow-up hearing has been planned on August 4, and Judge Lynn Scaduto of the Los Angeles County Superior Court has requested that this motion be filed by the 12th of June. In a statement to People magazine, Priscilla said that as a family, they are pleased that they resolved it together. She and her family hope that everyone would grant them the privacy that they have needed so that they can properly grieve the loss of Lisa Marie and spend personal time together. She then ended it by stating that they love and appreciate all of the supporters and that the Presley family is stronger than ever. What do you think of Priscilla's request to be buried beside her ex-husband, Elvis Presley? Do you think that they should have accepted it, or were the results reasonable enough? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.